On his visit to Grenada and Jamaica last year, UK Prime Minister David Cameron announced that his country will make available a fund to assist with the development of infrastructure and other areas to countries in the region. The commitment was sealed when CARICOM delegates and the UK met in Freeport in the Bahamas for the 9th UK CARICOM Forum. Sustainable development, security and global challenges were among some of the issues discussed. The forum, which was held under the theme Building a Stronger Partnership for Sustainable Growth and Development, was attended by Minister for Foreign Affairs Clarice Modest Cohen. However, giving an update on the meeting which was held in the month of April, Minister for Trade and Economic Development Oliver Joseph said that the fund is intended for physical infrastructure and health. At that meeting, the UK Foreign Secretary announced additional aid to the Caribbean. 30 million pounds for physical infrastructure and 38 million pounds for health facilities. You will recall that when the British Prime Minister visited the, Car to the two countries in the Caribbean, Jamaica and Grenada, he announced that Britain will make available over a five-year period 300 million pounds for infrastructure development. His Foreign Secretary has now announced an additional amount of 30 million for physical infrastructure and 38 million pounds for health facilities. So Grenada will benefit from this. The minister explained that the fund can be accessed through the Caribbean Development Bank. And that is where application will be made for funding for a project. Let me add, and quite and, and very important here, is that this money is grant money. So it is not money that we'll have to repay. When you access the money, to do infrastructure work or health, this is grant money that the UK government is offering to the Caribbean country to help with our development. So we are seeing a major shift in the UK foreign policy position to once again en engage the Caribbean and to support Caribbean countries in their development. And we welcome this assistance by the British government. This additional fund makes the UK one of the largest donors to the region. Colin Campbell, GBN News.